Peace family, this is Drea with the House of Consciousness and I wanted to talk to y'all for a minute about something that I have just been made aware of here recently, actually today. And it is about an article that um, several people have called me about to this morning and told me that they saw it on Instagram and some other places that has been written about myself Omeg, the House of Consciousness, and that whole situation. The gentleman's name that wrote the article, his name is Xavier James. Now, I have never heard of this guy, and I've never been approached to do an interview about the history of myself, House of Consciousness, or anything like that. So, let's just say that off the top, that I don't know who this is. The article, I'm looking at it in my phone right now the article is called basically exposed are ashwa crazy and irritated genie caught up in the house of consciousness fraud and the article goes on to talk about i guess different people in my life have said this or that or rumors and so forth and whatever so this message is to all my family out there When you listen to gossip and conjecture and things like that, the laws of my art state, since we are all righteous people here, the laws of my art state that every man has the right to face his accuser. Every man. So that means that if somebody says something to you, I mean about you behind your back, what have you, you have the right to face that person so you can determine what is truth. Now this article is full of lies and so forth. And everybody that called me this morning, I want to thank y'all for letting me know. Obviously see the lies in the article. But this is what I want to say to Mr. Xavier James, whoever that might be. Might be a fake person, a real person, I don't know. Because I've never met them. If you wanted to do an article about me or HOC or anything of that nature, I'm open. You could have come, you could have talked to me, you could have interviewed me on the life of HOC, me personally. I'm pretty transparent. So you could have come and talked to me. But I want to talk to my family a little bit about what journalism is, what truth is, and what righteousness is. If you are doing a story on a person, then as a journalist, you may want to get all the sides of the story and all the truth before you put it out there. Because you want to be able to relate truth if you're talking about righteousness. So I'm going to give you an example of what I mean by this. In this article, and, and I'm going to let you guys know that I'm going to do a full write out point by point of what this article says. And what is truth? I'm going to do that. So look for that in the next couple of days. But I just want to give an overview of, of this right now. In this article, he says that he is a writer, scholar, researcher, and, um, and a purveyor of truth in so many words. But if that is the case, and you was doing a story about HOC in my life, then why didn't you come to me and interview me and ask me were these things that people were saying true, untrue, or what have you? Why wouldn't you do that? So it is obvious that you are working with an enemy or you are an enemy. I don't even know you. So for you to hide behind this and then do an article about me and call it exposed, I think is so irresponsible. It's not responsible, and it's not in the laws of my eye. So if we are African and we are to work on African principles, then you should not call it journalism. You should just call it what it is. It's slander, it's gossip, it's whatever. But most of the things that was written in this article, obviously 99% of it is not true. Just to my family who may be wondering. But... The stuff that's written in the article, if it were true, 
you would be able to publicly go online and look it up. So to all those who may be carrying this, these rumors and spreading it to each other, commenting, oh my God, you, you never know people and this and that, please don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. My phone number is 757-314-1111. Four, three. Call me and say, Drea, is this true? He listed me in the article with four or five different names. I mean, really, it is, it's just really ridiculous. But I had to make this video for my family to let them know where I was coming from. And I will do a full write up on it as well. Just so, you know, any family that has any questions or maybe wondering or whatever, you know, or you can call me, you can inbox me. I'm not hard to get to, you know, so do not be a fool and listen to or read conjecture that is obviously untrue without talking to the person. Because the bottom line is, you know, I feel like in our hearts, we're not treacherous people. We're not treacherous people and we're not supposed to do treacherous things. So if you accuse somebody of something, you should have the gumph to face them. And if you don't, maybe it's because you're lying or because it's slander or whatever. So, you know, really put these things into perspective and more so, you know, um, I wanted to say this about the guy Xavier James with this article online about me, but more so. I wanted to talk to my family out there who may want to come to the house of consciousness or want to meet us or whatever the case may be. Don't believe everything you read. That's foolishness. I'm open. I'm here. Come see me. You know what I mean? And as far as Xavier James is concerned, I really wish that your article would have been because in the beginning of your article, you have the Pharaoh Akhenaten there which is one of my favorite rulers. And I understand that my uh, that Agnaten ruled under the principles of my eye. So to have his picture there and subliminally draw people in to this article as if it's truth is just not righteous. Especially if you was going to write an article about me, but I've never met you. I don't know you. So basically, you did this article out of a blind side from what you may have heard from other invisible people about me without ever, ever coming to me. So how can you say that it's truth? Come on, brother, sister, whoever you are. You know, there's a lot of things that I want to say here, but I'm going to save that for the write-up that I'm going to do to um, give everybody a link to this article. And I'm going to give a point by point rebuttal. So look for that in the next few days. If anybody has any questions, if anybody has seen the article and wants to talk to me or anything like that, I am open. Come and talk to me. But let's operate in the principles of my art here. Let's be true Africans and understand that this is not my art. It is not righteous. When you gossip about someone, in the laws of my eye, that person has the right to face you. They truly do. And you should tell that person to them what they're doing. And a lot of people don't do that these days. Number one, because everybody's looking at love and hip-hop and all of these things. And not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just saying that people are adopting that into their life. As if that's the way to live. And it's not. It's not. The bottom line is... We are in a situation right now as Africans, and we need to heal as Africans. And one of the main ways that I feel you do that is to heal thyself. So if I'm trying to heal myself, and then after I heal myself, I heal my brother, I heal my sister, then what I don't want to do is gossip, slander, backbite, and all of these other things. It's not conducive to unity. And it's not conducive to growth. It really is not. And I want everybody to think about that. I want everybody to think about that. Because now it's becoming to an age where everybody hides behind the keyboard. Nobody faces each other anymore. 
And the reason I'm doing this blog is because I want to reach people that I might not necessarily know or who has seen this and don't know me or maybe might be scared to come talk to me. I don't know, but that's why I'm doing this because I need to talk to you. Really think about what you read, what you believe. If a person is giving you a one-sided detailed story, really think about the motive of that person. Really think about that. Anyway, that's what I came on here to talk to you guys about. I love y'all. Be peace and be peace and blessed. Love and light.